Yep. Finally happened. Before getting started today, I'd like to thank Eddie3911 and Nick Madsen for joining the channel as monthly producers. I greatly appreciate the support that that brings to the channel and helping to cover the odds and ends that are shown in the videos and overall production. So thank you both so much for that. So to the topic at hand, yes, this was a long, long, long process to wait out. And I mean, I've been whining and bitching and complaining about securing an open ice cabinet. And after a few wrong turns, trap doors and miscommunications, I finally got one. So this came from the Coinop warehouse in Hagerstown, Maryland. If any of you in the Northeast follow what's been happening with this place, the owner Lloyd recently sold the large warehouse that he has. And I think he's still keeping his smaller storage area behind Hub City Vinyl. But he said a condition of sale for the larger warehouse was that it had to be emptied. So if you've ever been there or have seen pictures, this is a pretty sizable place. And I expected it to be large the first time I went there and it was probably maybe three or four times what my expectations were. All this to say, Lloyd was doing appointments and allowing people to walk through and buy machines. I went down on a Thursday with a friend with the sole purpose of finding an NBA jam cabinet and guess what, I did. But I also found an NBA Showtime cabinet that was in fairly decent shape. This is an ideal cabinet for converting to a sports station and I encouraged my friend to grab it. Now, if he hadn't bought this, I certainly would have. At $500, this was a pretty good deal. As I mentioned, the side art was pretty good and it has a monitor that powers up. The Vegas board and video card were inside, but they do not work. Still though, all the wiring and everything is here and ready to go if we can get the Vegas board repaired or source a new working one. All right, so let's talk about why we're really here today, and that's the NBA Jam cabinet that I picked out of the warehouse. A lot of you know this has been a long and sometimes painful quest to find a cabinet suitable for restoring to Midway's open ice. The most recent debacle was me offering $400 for an NBA jam cabinet that had been converted to golden tea. And then I had that deal yanked out from under me by the seller at the very last minute. Then there was of course the blitz cabinet that I mistakenly picked up, which uses a mortal Kombat cabinet and not the NBA jam style like Midway's other sports titles. Well, that one thankfully had a positive outcome though. And then there was the true dedicated open ice selling for $1,200 on Clove that I ended up passing on. But all of that is in the past now. I was really excited when I saw this at the end of one of the aisles, looking a little sad and beat up, which is exactly what I had in mind. So I checked the sticker on the back of the cabinet just to double check that this was an NBA jam. And you can see here that it is, it says NBA basketball on it. So I said I was interested and I asked the price. $200, not terrible, not terrible at all. It's half the cost of the last one that I tried to get. And it's $1,000 cheaper than the dedicated machine, which I had planned to do work on anyways. So I just saved myself either $200 or a grand, depending on how you want to look at it. Now let's talk about that though, because there are some things to go over here. Okay, so shortcomings here. Well, it doesn't have a control panel or a box. so. The panel is easy enough to source. A few people out there offer options for those, but the midway box that that panel sits on, I haven't seen that in the usual places too often. I know Prince Arcades makes the Konami four player box and the two are very similar, but not quite the same. Overall though, I'm not too worried about this. One will certainly turn up. The other thing that I'm missing here is the glass. And that's a pretty easy thing to get cut though. I got a smoked piece cut for the Konami when I finished that up and I wanna say it was about 80 bucks or so shipped. So one of my favorite things about getting a new machine is going through it initially and seeing what I can find inside. Now this was NBA Jam, but had since been converted to Blitz 99. So when digging through stuff in the bottom of this, I found the Nintendo 64 memory card interface for Blitz 99. This is a cool little piece of history, similar to Killer Instinct in that it represents a collaboration between Midway and Nintendo. 
Back in the day, you could design custom Blitz plays on N64 and then load them up for use in the arcade. I believe this only works with Blitz 99, so sadly I don't think I can use this with Blitz 2000 on the sports station. Speaking of Blitz 99, the original board and hard drive are still inside here, so that's a big plus, provided that they work. I'm guessing the hard drive is a long shot, but that's okay. Maybe we can swap that to Compact Flash and still flip this. That brings me to another semi-downside in that I haven't powered this up yet to test, well, anything. The wiring is a bit of a mess, as is the case with a lot of these older machines. I'm going to have to tidy some of this up before throwing any switches here to avoid damaging any potential circuits. So I guess to that end, we don't know if the monitor actually works, but all the pieces are here for it to work, or at least be rebuilt. Judging by the slip I found in the bottom of the machine, I'm going to lean towards this not working. Oh, and I almost forgot, I did find this NBA Jam original manual and tournament bracket cards in the bottom of the cabinet too. Just some really cool, unexpected artifacts. Really love stuff like this. On the outside of the cab, you can obviously see the Blitz stickers that were used when this was converted. The cabinet was painted black and then had these slapped onto the sides. And if you look at the top where the paint is starting to wear off in places, can see the very faded design of the original NBA Jam artwork. This is the basketball pattern, which has obviously seen better days. Some serious sun fade going on here. So overall, I'm pretty pleased because this is exactly what I wanted. The correct midway cabinet for open ice that was in need of some love and which I could get for cheap. I know that it needs glass, control panel, and box, and wiring, artwork, Maybe a few other fixes too, but given that I already have the artwork, the buttons, the sticks, I own the original PCB and I was going to want to redo the artwork on the one on cloth anyways, I basically would have been doing the exact same thing I'm about to do to this cabinet, but on a cabinet that was gonna cost me $1,200. And this is 200 bucks. And the end product, when I'm finished the overhaul, it's gonna be exactly the same. And on the bright side, the one I missed out on for $400 doesn't feel so bad now either. So I did wanna say thanks to everyone who reached out periodically, pointing me to cabinets and potential leads. It's a really nice and helpful community of people out there. You all have been very kind. No need to keep looking for me now though. I have what I need and it's just a matter of putting in some work to get this all fixed up and ready to go. So thanks so much for watching today and checking out some more arcade stuff. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time. Later, guys.